How would you like to make searching based on a workflow state easier for your users? Let's take a look at a quick example. In SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM, or SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional, one of the default search cards is the complete search. With this, we have a workflow tab where we can specify a state. Now the challenge here is this lists all of the states in our workflows. And when I say in our workflows, I mean in all of our workflows. So with a, any number of workflows that you may have, we can have any number of states inside these. So great, I'm able to search on these, but now we're having to have the user pick throughout the entire list of the states. This can be somewhat of a challenge. So the question is, can we sort it? Can we sort it based on the workflow name? The answer is yes. This takes a little bit of SQL know-how, but otherwise we're using the out-of-the-box configuration tools in SOLIDWORKS PDM. Let's take a look at how this works. So for instance, if I'm interested in the workflow auto-released, now I only pick based on the states in that workflow. Maybe I'm interested in the design, design workflow and what's been approved. Notice it's much easier being able to filter through these multiple workflows and get the desired states that I'm after. So let's take a look at how this is set up. Let's first start out in SQL. So getting into our database, one of our tables uh, that we have is, you guessed it, status. So let's take a look, just select the top thousand rows here. And this gives us all of the status, all the states in SOLIDWORKS PDM. So you should start, start to see some familiarity here in that name column. So a couple things, what we wanna do here is select all of the names that are enabled for a given workflow ID. So our query looks something like this. We want to select the name from our table where enabled is like one and workflow ID like two or whichever workflow ID you may be after. So when I execute just this one, I should get the list for all of the states that are enabled in a given workflow. So I can do this for multiple um, workflow IDs. Essentially, this is the, the foundation of the SQL query that we want to use. So what we're going to do is copy this information and start to create lists from it in the administration tool. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So essentially, we just did some rough SQL queries to generate lists. So I've already done that in this case, where I have my design workflow states. So in creating this new list for the data type, you'll pick from SQL database, we'll paste in that command. This is where you do have to do some association between your workflow ID and the workflow name. Specify your server, your database, your login credentials, how often you're going to refresh this, and then of course, test it. Sure enough, we get results. So we'll go ahead and do this for however many uh, workflows that we wanna search on. So I have my design workflow, my auto released, or my workflow ID is like three. And of course, my ECO workflow where it's like four. Now, once we have these saved, it's time to get in to the search card. So we'll go into search cards, complete search, or you can uh, modify this. You can modify the search card or create a new one. So we'll go into that workflow tab, create two new text boxes, and then two new drop lists. So the first one here for our drop list, we're going to choose special value and choose workflow list. This is out of the box, it'll just give you a list of all of your workflows. Um, but what's the value? Well, this needs to correspond to the workflows in 
SOLIDWORKS PDM. Again, this is an out-of-the-box option. We'll pick workflow, workflow name. Now, here's where a little bit of the advanced options come into play here is for picking that workflow state. Now, of course, the value, just as the default one is, is workflow, state name. But for the items that show up in the drop list, this is where we need to choose controlled by variable. We'll go into details. So the variable is actually not a variable. This is a out of the box option though with SOLIDWORKS PDM. Just scroll down here and find workflow, workflow name in the list. This does not need to be created again, it's out of the box. But from here, we'll specify the different options for the variable value. So for our auto release, design workflow, and ECO, you do need to type these in. So if you do change your workflow name, you will need to come in here and update it. But at this point, we just pick the corresponding card list uh, that we created. Again, the values of which are generated based on that SQL query. So at this point, we're done. We can save it, get back into our search, and make it much easier for our users to search and find the right information that they're after based on a filtered workflow state list. So hopefully this helps you optimize your search functionality with SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional and SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. Have a great day.